My name is Wijnand Bombrand. First thing I'm going to show you is about the pupil of a pigeon. A small pupil on the bird, uh, it shows you the world to win. Uh, short, middle, long distance, don't matter. Uh, a big pupil, only up to 500 kilometers. Don't have the wall, will stop flying after a while. So only best for short distances. A twisting eye in a, in a, in a racing pigeon is a very good characteristic. And uh, it's not necessary, but I love it. The inner circle of my own ring is, uh, I love when one of the pair got it, but it's not really necessary. Uh, I've seen many pairs without the circle that breeds lots of winners. Uh, the second one is the circle, is the uh, circle of adaptation, or the bishop circle. Uh, it's a very wide variety, and uh, also a wide variety of colors. Today I'm going to show you the colors and the varieties on this circle. The first one is not visible. So this is almost non-existent lately in racing pigeons. Uh, once in a while you will find one of them, but actually non-existent. The second one is only for speed. Here you can see between 7 and 8 o'clock around the pupil on the left hand side. Uh, that is little speed lines or stripes. Looks like spokes on a bicycle. Uh, the second one here is also a speed sign and is a bit higher than the previous ones. They call it the standing sign. The fourth of the fourth one is a half circle going uh, from uh, 5 o'clock to, to about 11 or 12 o'clock and uh, it's also speed good for short distance uh, this you will find in a few birds lately previous years they had a lot but now lately there's few this is the first full circle it's speed right around um, very thin and it can be a dilute or a black here we got the six one and this is the consistency sign this is a very good sign to find in a racing pigeon uh, very consistent you can raise it weekly and uh, you can see it's there is the dilute on it it's spiky on the ones on the left hand side towards the beak and on the other side it's thin with little spikes around then on this one it's the same sign but you can see it's this uh, circle around on the other side this is your distance lines now as soon as you can breed maximum speed and maximum distance into a pigeon's eye uh, th that's the perfect pigeon you want here you can see it's a dilute sign uh, two dilutes normally pair together uh, uh, will breed you the darker signs but uh, I normally pair a like this is a full black it's a superimposed eye I normally pair a full yellow or a full white adaptation circle with this kind of birds otherwise the birds only become homers yeah you can see the distance lines on the, uh, the right top corner in inside here yeah, you must check with the magnifying glass very well if you can see the speed and distance lines in the black of the circle this is a full circle and here you can see there's less spikes around the, 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 the pupil, <coughs> or around the adaptation circle, and uh, this is more stamina. <coughs> uh, we want to breed maximum speed, maximum stamina into a pigeon's eye. I always pair opposites, yellow with white, uh, uh, the eye coloration. Here you got the number nine. I, that's a gold or a yellow and it's normally superimposed it's it's not a, a, a it's all a, a, it's an intense yellow here you can see all different types of yellow eyes this eyes strengthen the eyes on other birds so if you use a nice gold onto one of your hands the some of the babies will have stronger eyes here you can see the double green on the left top and the violet on the right 
Now this green or violet, it also comes in a silver here on top left and the mustard right. These signs is the number 10 sign. Now this is a 10 10. That means it's a green on a green or a violet or a, a violet. You can see the speed and distance sign in this eye. If you look with a magnifying glass. If the bird got in the green or the violet, any black or dilute colors, it's one of the other signs on top of a green or a black or a, or a violet or a grey or a gunmetal. Here you can see the dust climbing into the pupil because the iris is rich. There you can see yeah, you, the, here we got the coloration of the pupil. Here it looks like a star going on, you can see it on the right bird top, uh, into the iris. And on the bottom it's more round. Both is very good. Uh, I believe the wider the better, or the broader the better. And I love both these eyes. Here you can see it's more round. Here you can see... Uh, Yeah, we got the, the the second base layer. You'll see it's it's, it's uh, in between the iris and the background of the pupil. Yeah, you can see it is the white coming through. It's not on the base of the the, the eye itself. It's in between. I'll just show you, and it's coming from the 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 middle to outer and inner side. Yeah, you can see both layers. As soon as both layer number four and number five is in the eye, the eye become milky. So the, you can, on the milkies you can see the dust particles sitting on the loops of the iris. Here is one with only a base layer and no second base layer. Yes. Then on this one, the next one here you can see it's, it's both, both layers and it's become milky again. And on the second one is a son of this cock. Here you can see the base layer very well. And the second layer that's in between the consistency layer is not so strong as on the previous eyes. You can see the little, little bit of milky, but not as strong. On this eye we got the second layer very strong. The consistency the scene was twice. Base bird, uh, but no base, base layer. As soon as you don't have a base layer, the eyes become darker and more shiny. Here you get an eye with only the first base layer, no second layer of color uh, consistency, only the yellow base layer. This base layer means speed. This eye <coughs> is typical of the Jan Arden eyes, no layer. You can see no base layer, no consistency layer. This is an ultra long distance, slow but Keep going pigeon. This is a fast pigeon, super white base layer, no second layer, no consistency layer. This world bird will win once in a while, will give you some surprises. This bird will also give you surprises. Uh, good base layer, no second consistency layer. Short, middle or long, doesn't matter. On this eye you can see both layers, uh, consistency and base layer, but the iris is very thick, the loops are thick, that means the pigeon carries some weight, but it's a milky eye, got both layers. Here you got one without a base layer, it's only the second layer, and uh, that's why the eye look darker. Here again we got the dark eye, of the Jan Arden strain with no second base layer and no consistency layer. That is your longer distance pigeon. Only now we can go and look at the iris pigmentation because the two base layers, the base layer and the consistency layer can make us believe that the iris is weak 
and that's not the truth. Thank you for watching the video. Please click like if you like this video and see other, our other videos on YouTube. Thank you very much. Good day.